So guys, you are in for a treat. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how you can go about closing high ticket social media marketing agency clients or coaching clients for your actual business using Instagram outreach. Now guys, I'm gonna break this video down very, very quickly for you guys. We've got something on the screen that we need to jump straight into. But honestly guys, I wanna break this down because a lot of you guys are still doing cold emails and cold outreach and all this sort of stuff and it's just not working. So I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how you can go about getting high ticket clients for your social media marketing agency, your coaching business, your service based business doesn't matter what you're basically selling as long as it's something kind of like a high ticket or just some sort of service aka a social media marketing agency service such as facebook ads short form content that sort of stuff we're breaking this down in today's video so without any further ado let's just jump straight into this guys so as you can see on my screen we've got instagram outreach 2020 23 first of all we need to start off with a universal fact guys and this if anybody tries to tell you anything other than this they're trying to sell you some bs Honestly, guys, because think about it. The more outreach you do for your social media marketing agency slash your coaching business, the richer you're going to get because the more outreach you do by the law of kind of like averages, what's going to actually happen is the more doors you knock on, the more yeses you're going to get. Obviously, you're going to get more no's, but the more yeses you're going to also get. So it is a numbers game. And if anyone tries to tell you it's not a numbers game, they're honestly just talking BS. Now, just to prove this, just kind of like further, you know, if you take anybody that sends like 15K outreach on Instagram, even if their frigging outreach sucks, they're probably going to land one or two, maybe three, four, five clients, to be honest with you. If you send like 15,000 outreach, I don't know, I don't think you guys understand how much 15,000 outreach actually is. That's a lot of outreach, guys. You will eventually land a client even if your outreach sucks, if you're doing that much. However, there's always ways to boost your, kind of like your effectiveness, your efficiency, and your overall success when it comes to doing outreach. So you wanna do the least amount of numbers for the most output, obviously, and that's what this video is basically going to be about, how to boost your efficiency and actually how to do outreach. Now, what I wanna break down just real, real quick to you guys is the formula. So this formula right here is honestly the formula that I found just crazy success with, because I'm making like, I'm not even joking, I've made like hundreds of thousands off of just Instagram alone from my personal brand and stuff like that. But the key, honestly guys, to doing this for an agency or doing this for a service, even if you've not got a personal brand just yet on, 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 on like Instagram is, you want to do quality outreach at scale. So you wanna do quality and quantity, plus you want a personal brand, guys. If you can remember this, you're gonna go on to a, you know, produce a winning strategy. Don't just spam crappy outreach, guys, with no personal brand. So I personally call this Kaizen Outreach, so the cool, cool little word here, Kaizen Outreach. The reason why I call it Kaizen Outreach, guys, is because it's actually gonna improve your success rate over time as your brand grows. It actually gets better and better and better over time. So it has like this snowball effect, guys. So I'm gonna break this down for you guys. Before I do that though, I need to start breaking down the six biggest mistakes I keep seeing as to why people are still stuck below 5K per month, 10K per month, that sort of stuff. Now, the first thing I've seen is that people have really weak offers and they're trying to offer that weak, you know, really weak, not really desired um, kind of like outcome or offer to a saturated niche, right? And I've noticed that this is normally due to lack of first-hand research. First-hand research basically means you're going out to your niche and you're actually asking them what it, what Susie wants for lunch. I always have this saying, give Susie what Susie wants for lunch, AKA, imagine me and you are sat down on a bench and we're playing a stupid game on who can correctly guess what this woman that just walked past us wants for lunch. Whoever, whoever can guess correctly wins 50 bucks. We could sit there all day and come up with all this speculative kind of like deduce and we can kind of like deduce what she's wearing and maybe she's active and she looks like she wants a tuna sandwich or some shit like that. But honestly guys, the smart person just gonna go over to the person, this Susie, and just ask her what she wants for lunch and win the bet. That's basically what first-hand research is. Going to your niche and genuinely asking what you know their problems are with their business. So that's first-hand research, guys. And again, the, the, the reason why a lot of people have weak offers and they're operating in a saturated niche is because they lack first-hand research. They don't know first-hand research. They just listen to a guru online and they've just followed that guru. And they kind of do what you call monkey see, monkey do. There's no three-dimensional thinking. I call it thinking 3D, where you actually start looking at certain criteria. For example, I wanna help online coaches scale to another 50K per month, for example, using short form content. That's a really cool, strong offer right there. Obviously, if you, if you can um, produce that, keep it kind of ambiguous as well, by the way, guys, whenever you come with, with offers, because a lot of people don't really care about like short form content. It's not the short form content they care about. It's what the short form content can do for their business. So, you know, this is, this is a big mistake number one. Big mistake number two is not enough touch points. I see a lot of people, right, just sending out maybe five emails or five messages in a sequence on, on Instagram 
doesn't matter what sort of cold outreach you're doing, but I've noticed it's always like three to five messages. Honestly, guys, that's not enough touch points. Sometimes it takes you 50 to 70 touch points per sale. If you don't know what a touch point is, for example, let's say you are a subscriber onto my channel, for example, and you've watched 20 of my videos. Well, that's 20 different touch points. If you've seen me drop videos and you've not actually watched them, or you've seen some of my reels, those are also touch points. If you've then gone on my Instagram and followed me because you've gone on my Instagram, that's another touch point. And if you've gone through my posts, those are multiple touch points. So the more kind of like impressions you make on, a some, on somebody, and the more times somebody sees you or hears you speak or on, on camera kind of like how I am now that's more touch points or if I've liked one of your photos or DM'd you those are also touch points as well now what I recommend you do for touch points is have a CRM system with an appointment set and also build a personal brand which I'm gonna to come to in a second the third big mistake I keep seeing is no personalization I keep mentioning this over and over again I probably sound like a broken record for this bit, but you need personalized first lines, personalized intros, personalized copy, personalized everything. Don't just copy and paste templates because it's gonna make you sound robotic and it's gonna com come across as just so unattractive that people are just gonna pretty much just block you on this, honestly, especially on Instagram. Now, a lot of, uh, and I've also seen fourth point, fourth big mistake is that a lot of people try to marry before the first date. Let me, let me give you an example as to what this means. I know this might sound a little bit weird. What I've noticed is that a lot of people, when they send a DM straight away to somebody they've never talked to before, first of all, that's gonna end up in a requested section. So it's probably not going to be seen. So don't put, too, I won't say put, not enough effort in it, but obviously you want, it's about striking the right balance between quality, personalization, and quantity. If you can do that with a personal brand on top of that, you're gonna win the game. Now, what I mean by don't marry before the first date is, people are trying to sell their services straight away on Instagram or sell the call straight away on Instagram before you've even spoke to the person, liked one of their photos or even communicated with them in any way, shape or form. So that's super, 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 super cold and that barely works. What I'd rather you do is send somebody maybe like a nice opening compliment that's genuinely authentic wait for maybe a couple of days and then hit them back up. Let the compliment marinate, by the way. It's almost like, let, let me give you an example. Imagine you're walking through time, right, town and you've got some nice brand new Air Jordan 4s on, for example, and somebody comes to you and says, yo, bro, I really like your, your kicks. Where did you get them from? That's a nice compliment. You, you know, it makes you feel nice about your purchase. Maybe these are your, one of your, I don't know, you love these shoes or whatever it is. You wanted these shoes for ages. Funnily enough, I just seen some Jordans I wanted uh, as well from, from ages ago. But long story short, guys, what's gonna eventually happen is if you then go on to say to that person or try to sell something to that person, it's going to make your compliment that you just complimented them on feel disingenuous. It's just, it, you've just, it, it's gonna make them, it's gonna make the person realize that, oh, you only said you like my shoes because you're just trying to sell me some shit. So it's gonna put people off. So what I've noticed is that if you compliment somebody like an open message and they actually reply, don't even try sell them just right there and then. Give it maybe a couple of days before and, and make sure you like their posts and stuff like that before that. So actually become a fan of their stuff. Now, the fifth thing I keep seeing is that a lot of people don't have personal brands, guys. If you honestly just wanna make money, guys, start a personal brand. If you are scared to start a personal brand, then don't even worry about making money. Just go work for like Tesco, go, go work at like Tesco's, Walmart, go work at Uber because you can't, you can't be scared and want to make money. You can't be scared of getting on camera, guys. If you are scared of getting on camera, then don't complain about making money. If you're not scared about getting on camera, you're going to make money. It's just as simple as that, guys. Now, no, per and by the way, when I say personal brands, please do not try to create graphic accounts or non-optimized accounts because they do not work. If you've got an account that's a personal account, by the way, you wanna use those personal accounts for personal branding, by the way. But if your personal account has like you with your friends getting drunk on a weekend and stuff like that, I keep saying this you know, previously in my, in my videos, that's not gonna work, guys. It just doesn't look professional enough. If you've got one of those graphic accounts where it's just all graphics, kind of like this right here. If you've got an account that looks like this, where it's saying we help gyms scale through paid advertising, yeah, guys, this is not. This is never gonna work. This is never, ever, ever, ever going to work. In fact, if you've got an account like this, just delete it. Uh, well, I wouldn't actually delete it. I would just honestly just delete all the posts off it, start again, and create a brand that looks like an actual human being. Now, you don't have to have you know thousands of followers on here, which I'll get into in a second, but please don't use those graphic accounts that don't because they don't work. Also, number six is make sure you lead with sample work and make sure your sample work's actually genuinely good, AKA, if you're gonna reach out to somebody for short form content, like an online coach, and they're already producing short form content, right? 
make sure that if you give them a sample of a short form content from one of their videos, let's say you've got a, a dude that sells an online program, he's an online coach, because um, th those are the dudes that I've noticed that really have a lot of money, which is why I've kind of switched over my niche and whatnot when it comes to just consulting as well. But long story short, those online coaches that have like their own programs, mentorship programs are making a lot of money guys and their profit margins are crazy. So what they'll normally do is they'll have like a YouTube channel, maybe a podcast or something like that, or they'll have like um, short form content out there. What you can do is just go and chop up one of their longer form videos, use something like CapCut, like watch one of my previous videos and I'll show you, basically shows you how to do that. But make sure it's actually genuinely better than what they've already got on their account. Don't send them a frigging reel that's worse than what they've already got. I'm not joking, this happened to me the other day. I was looking for a TikTok kind of like video editor, short form video editor, and the content people were sending me was honestly just ass. Like, I'm not joking, it was literally ass. I'm not even surprised you guys are not getting clients if, you're, if your actual work is ass. If your work is ass, then you shouldn't be complaining that you're broke, honestly. Now that we've got those six mistakes out of the way, let's talk about the 14 steps, right, that I need you to take in order to scale to that first 5K, you know, 5K plus in your bank account because cold outreach just genuinely sucks. And here's what I mean by that. I need you guys to remember that cold outreach isn't forever. You just need to do it enough so that you generate enough cash flow and close enough clients so you can actually generate enough cash flow so that you can either outsource your cold outreach or you can run paid advertising. Again, outreach is not forever. You just have to do it in the beginning. And the reason for that is because if you don't have any money, you're gonna have to spend a lot of time and effort and energy doing all of this by yourself. But when you start stacking up money, you can actually save time by outsourcing or paying or paying for like, um, like advertising and stuff like that. Now, first of all, let's talk about the 14 steps. Number one, this all starts with optimizing your account with content and your personal brand. You need to build a personal brand. And like I said, yes, you need to be on camera. And if you're scared to be on camera and you wanna be rich at the same time, that's like an oxymoron. It doesn't, it doesn't go together, guys. It's like trying to mix oil and water. So you need to pick one. It's either you're going to pick being scared or you're going to pick becoming a millionaire or a, a thousandaire or whatever you wanna call them or a multiple six figure business owner is what I'm trying to say. Now, again, you don't need to have a blue tick or millions of followers. Honestly, you can actually just build up a, build up an account, maybe even run some boosted posts here and then maybe spend like 10, to $20 a day on boosting some posts and you'll start generating some followers, guys. If you don't, if you wanna learn how to generate followers, drop me a DM on um, Instagram. If you're starting from complete scratch, I can genuinely help you with that. Um, I'll just give you some tips as well for completely free, by the way. Number two is you wanna optimize the value statement in your in your, in your your bio. Make sure you kind of have like a cool little call, a call to action as well. Um, and focus only, by the way, when, whenever you're writing your value statement, I'll show you in a second. When you're writing a value statement, focus only on the outcome which is typically money or qualified clients. Let me give you an example. In my bio right here, it literally says, DM me Kaizen to start your personal brand. Then it says exactly what I do and who I help. I help agency owners slash online coaches land high ticket clients and scale to 25K per month via personal branding. And then there's a really cool call to action, you know, DM me Kaizen to start your personal brand. Do you know how many people actually come from all different sources of my personal brand and then they actually, you know, land on my Instagram and then DM me Kaizen because it's just, it's just, there to get started basically. It's just a really easy way for somebody to just hit me up and just be like, hey, I saw in your bio, it just said Kaizen, so I just messaged you Kaizen. And I've had a lot of conversations and calls from that. And again, guys, there's been days where I've literally set like 18, 20 to 20 plus meetings in a single day from my actual Instagram. So what I'm teaching right here is not BS. Now, I also recommend you post at least one reel a day and get an editor if you're swamped. Honestly, use something like CapCut. Just teach somebody how to use CapCut, like a literal just virtual assistant, $3 an hour. You can find these on Fiverr. You can find these on Upwork. This is not hard to do, guys. Just teach them how to use CapCut. In fact, just literally go watch my previous video on my channel, watch the video, or even just send your actual edit and the video itself, and they will literally learn how to use CapCut. That's basically all you need to do. And just sit down and record a 30 second to one minute long uh, video every single day talking about what you do for your niche. And by the way, if you don't believe me, think about this. If you was an e-commerce brand and you got two people, two identical people hitting you up to try and edit your videos for you, your short form videos, one of them has no short form content on their on their page and somebody else has, you know, the other dude that's hit you up all has like um, a really good page with like lots of like short form content out there and they're actually genuinely valuable. Which one are you going to pick? Seriously, you're probably going to, you know, work with or be more inclined to work with somebody who already has short form content. So if you're sh trying to sell short form content and you don't even have short form content yourself, that just basically means you don't even believe you in your, your, your own services, which is nuts. Like how can you, and another, another thing that's crazy about SMA as well is that most people, are trying to sell something to do with social media, yet they can't even sell 
via their own social media. It's, it's, it's absolutely nuts the kind of like world we live in. So we need to start fixing, fixing up to, to be honest with you guys. Number four is call out your tog- target audience in your content. For example, if you're working with e-commerce brands or online coaches, you would say, if you're, an, and this is what you say in your actual reels, by the way, at the very start, you'd say, if you're an online coach and you are below 10K per month, then listen to these free tips on how to lo- use uh, personal branding to scale up to 10 k per month, for example, like that. And then you would go into your points. And the reason for this is because it calls out, right? It's gonna call out your ideal target audience. And not only that, but when Instagram, you know, when these ideal audiences kind of like start messing, like, like you know, liking, comment, commenting and messaging you because of this content, the algorithm is gonna start learning who your ideal customers are because it's those sort of people that are going to be liking and engaging with your content and people that look like them are then going to get recommended your stuff really really powerful way guys especially if you're able to filter out people again don't be don't don't make it broad because then anybody and everybody's going to freaking like your stuff you need to make it very specific if you're an online coach that's doing less than 5k per month then listen to these free tips there you go. Or if you're an e-commerce brand and you're looking to generate X amount of sales with short form content and listen to this, there you go. Do you need to call out people? The next thing you need to do whenever you're creating content, by the way, and by the way, notice how much effort I'm putting in here or how much kind of like points I'm talking about just setting up your account. This is all, I actually say the 80% of this is all about just setting up your account and having good content in the first place. So you need to have a good account in the first place. You don't need thousands of followers or anything like that, guys. You can start this off with like a couple hundred followers, to be honest with you. But your CTAs as well, number five is CTAs. What I want you to do is ask for a follow or a DM first. This this goes back to the same principle I, I talked about marrying before the first day. You need a smaller commitment from people. For example, at the end of your video, let's say it's free tips to close clients with personal branding. If you're an online coach and you are below 5K per month, then listen to this because I'm gonna teach you free tips on how to land high tier clients for your personal brand. Then you drop the free tips. And then at the end of the video, you say, if, you, if you're if you struggling with this and you're an online coach, just drop me a follow and go back through my past content or send me a DM, you know, one of the two. Don't do two, just do one. F- go, follow me, go back through my, DM, through, through my actual content and learn for free. That right there, honestly, is gonna be one of the most powerful things you can do because then you're gonna start getting people following you and liking your stuff. Here's a pro tip that no people will tell you tell you about. This is some real in-depth shit that I've seen change people's lives. Now, what I want you to do is pin a free resource on your account as well as testimonials. So in your actual Instagram account, right, at the top three kind of like pinned posts, what I want you to do is create a post where in the caption you say, hey, you know, all you gotta do is send me a DM and I'm gonna send you over a free resource. For example, let's say I do this YouTube video, the one that you're watching right now, and I say, hey, come on, follow me, and I'll send you over this Google Google um, Doc. And then what I do is I make a post on Instagram and I pin it to the top of my page. Like, hey, I just made a video on how to um, leverage Instagram to get high ticket clients for your coaching business or your on- online marketing agency. Send me a DM you know, with the word Google Doc and I'll send you over the Google Doc. That's going to spark conversations and get, and when people, new people do follow you because it's one of the first posts, they're gonna click it, read it, and it's gonna act like a retargeting kind of like backend system that really uh, catches people as well. Number six, highlights on your profile must include both business stuff and personal stuff, especially success, past testimonials and past results because people like seeing success, lifestyle and testimonials. Again, these are what I mean by the highlights. These right here, I've got so many of them, it's ridiculous. Um, I've got like, there's, by the way, there's like a hundred in here, another hundred in here, another hundred in there, another hundred in, in this one, well, probably just less than a hundred. So I've got like 400, 500, maybe 600 results or whatever it is, probably like 400, 500 results. Let's not get too giddy right there. Something like 400, 450, 500 results or something like that in my actual, again, you're probably not gonna start off from that, but eventually two years down the line, you're gonna absolutely thank me for teaching you guys how to build a proper personal brand. Number seven, when you actually do do outreach, what I want you to do is be genuinely authentic and ask questions about the person's business slash offer. The first message should not be, the first actual message you send over to somebody should not be more than 10 seconds. I'll give you an example. It should be something on the lines of, let's say you've got an online coach and you're trying to message them. Say, hey, I really love your program, agency tramitation. Tell me a little bit more about what's happening in the, in the six weeks of the program. There you go. It's almost like you're inquiring about the product slash service. And then point number eight would be to smoothly transition into offering whatever it is you offer. For example, short form content. So you would ask somebody, you know, what's agency tramitation all about? What's the actual program all about? What's in the actual weeks of the program? Break down the weeks. And then what you could actually do is smoothly, you know, in, in some way, shape or form, be smooth with this guys, come up with your own scripts. I'm not gonna give you a script. If I give you a script, everybody's gonna just use, it's gonna literally just take this video and steal the script. So I'm not gonna give you a script. You can come up with your own scripts. In fact, I'm probably doing you more of a favor by 
by not giving you a script and actually giving you a script. But you're gonna smoothly transition to get into the point of what it is that you actually do. Just be straight to the point, honestly, because there's no point wasting time on, on this. A lot of people can smell fake BS rapport building. And please don't use the, the cliche line, would you be opposed to setting a meeting or would you opposed to be doing this? I hear, honestly, even me, I'm starting to hear this like 20 times a day, guys. Like this, it, it's, it's, ter it's terrible. In your first message, do not send your calendar link whatsoever and keep it short. Ask a simple question. And what I recommend you do is ensure you get your touch points in if you've not got a response yet. Start liking people's comments, excuse me, liking people's posts, comment on their posts, send them follow-up DMs as well, leave it a couple, couple of days in between, and always lead with free samples. That's point number 11. Always lead with free samples slash free case studies slash results. For example, I was able to help so-and-so scale to X amount with short form content. There you go. And then you actually send over maybe like a testimonial or something like that, or an actual just like miniature 30 second video of just explaining what actually happened. Or if you're offering something like short form content and what you would do is actually just go and take one of their videos and chop it up and actually send it over to them as a reel. Obviously you can ask first, but if you don't want to spend too much time, you know, creating all these sample reels, you ask them first, you know, is it okay if I sent over just real quick, a, a short form, a piece of short form that I created for you. And then what you do is you just send it over to them when they say yes, that's what I would do if I was you to save time. Number 12 is you wanna use LinkedIn and Facebook, this is a real pro tip guys. Use LinkedIn and Facebook groups, right? To cross reference and find leads. Here's what I mean by that. If you go to Facebook, for example, and you're looking for online coaches on Instagram, what you can do is obviously in Instagram, you can type in online coaches in here, for example. Online coaches or online coach. For example, and then what you can do is start coming across all these online coaches. There's, there's, bro, there's, there's so friggin' many. And if one of the best things you can do, by the way, is let's just say we're gonna take this random online coach. What you can actually do is start looking at all the different, you know, recommended online coaches. And these are probably gonna be online coaches here, guys. As you can see, these are online coaches. I recommend, by the way, if you're gonna reach out to people, reach out to people that have some sort of proven online program or some online course or whatever it is or if you're reaching out to like e-commerce brands or whatever it is make sure that you've, they've actually got a genuinely good brand obviously i personally wouldn't even care about how many followers they've got i just reach out to everybody and anybody followers don't really indicate anything these days you can buy fake followers and fake engagement so don't even worry about if they've got like massive amounts of followers but yeah that's one way you can do it another way is you can't find these which you should be able to find these pretty easily if you just teach a VA. It's basically just go through these and start hitting some of these up. And then when you click on one of these dudes, for example, then you can actually hit another. And then as you can see, there's, there's just so many stuff. Um, this is like the fitness niche, obviously, but you can obviously go in there and start niching down a little bit better than me. I'm just doing this off to, uh, you know, really quickly off the top of my head. But long story short, a really good way would be to use Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups or just LinkedIn in general. And then what you can do is you can find leads in a specific niche. For example, let's say you're looking for people that sell an online course. Well, what you can do is go and join people that have like online course businesses on in Facebook groups. And then what you can do is because you've got them on Facebook, add them as a friend on Facebook and then search their name up on Instagram because chances are if they've got on a Facebook account and they're an online coach, chances are they've probably got an Instagram account too. So then what you can do is you can kind of like cross reference by searching their name you found on Facebook into Instagram and you've got an actual lead there. And then what you can do is, you know, comment, you know, comment on their stuff, like their stuff, message them and then hit the little drop down here and then go through and actually start finding people that look similar to them as well. So that's a really cool way to do that. Um, you can also use link LinkedIn to do the same thing. You can you also use, by the way, guys, so point number 13 is use Instagram algorithm hop. Instagram algorithm hop is uh, IG real hop. Is, is this the one, once again? Yeah, it, this, this is the reels hop, by the way, guys. So what you can do is, it's better to do this on mobile, by the way, guys. Um, I don't know why this is coming up. I'm just gonna quickly skip that before I get demonetized or, or some shit like that. But let's say you're looking for online coaches, right? And pretend this is like on the screen right now. Let's pretend this is some online coach. What you can do is start liking and commenting and all these sort of stuff. And you train the algorithm on Instagram to show you more content that's related to that particular niche. So what's gonna end up happening is, as you scroll down, you're gonna see content that's similar to what you're actually seeing. And eventually what's gonna happen is because you've kept liking and commenting on online coaches stuff, it's gonna think that you're an ideal candidate for those online coaches, and then it's gonna give you more online coaches, for example. So if you're offering short form content, this is absolutely insane for you guys. So definitely I rec recommend doing that. And obviously I just showed you the suggested account algorithm hop. So that's how you go about doing that. And again, keep your messages short and sweet guys. Now, here's the actual proper value once you actually start hitting 5K per month. So let, let's say you've got 5K per month, you know, you've, you've done all this, by the way, like I said, at the start, if you have no money, it's gonna require you lots of time. Well, once you actually start doing these, these tips here, 
what's eventually going to happen is you're going to start getting more and more meetings and you're going to start closing you know and again all i ask for in return drop a like comment subscribe by the way for that and then what's going to happen is you're going to start building up cash and what i recommend you do is separate your cash in your bank from personal stuff and here's what i mean by that when you make your first five grand in business right in your social media marketing agency or your online coaching business, do not take a single penny for yourself. What I recommend you do is invest at least half of it into running ads. And the way how you would run ads is you would boost some of your most popular reels that you've been posting. Cause again, you're supposed to be posting one reel a day or, or you would just create a new 30 second ad just saying, hey, if you're an online coach and you're looking to scale your coaching business to an, an additional 25K per month using short form content and a personal brand, I recommend you just follow me, drop me a follow and go through my, go through my past content. And all you would do is spend anywhere between $20 and $200 a day on ads, depending on, on what you, what sort of like ad spend you've got and how much you stepped up in your bank, because that's gonna generate you inbound leads. Now I call this Kaizen brand. So Kaizen brand is basically a brand that, you know, continuously improves over time. But this right here is what I'm banking on right now to take me to 150K, 200, 200K, 300 frigging K per month, guys. And you can genuinely do this because what it's gonna do is not only is it gonna give you warm leads, it's gonna give you followers. And those followers in turn are gonna turn into customers over time. So it's not just like running an ad to a landing page. It's running an ad to your Instagram page to grow followers, real followers, target your target audience, you're calling them out again in your, you know, in, in, in the first three seconds of your video. If you're an online coach doing below 5K per month, listen up, boom, and you give them free tips and then you give them a call to action, you know, follow me on Instagram, go through my post and um, drop me a follow and stuff like that. What's gonna happen is you're gonna start growing followers, you're gonna start getting likes, comments, engagement, Every single person that DMs you, obviously you DM them back. Every person that likes your stuff, you obviously DM them. If somebody who comments on your stuff, you DM them. If somebody obviously follows you, you DM them. So you're gonna start generating leads. You could probably generate a new follower anywhere between $1 to maybe $4-ish per follower. Sometimes you can obviously get you know followers a little bit cheaper than that, maybe like 70 cents depending on what niche you're in. Um, but it's gonna be around one to three dollars per follower. So if you want a thousand followers, you're gonna spend a thousand US dollars, which is really, really good because you can probably turn a thousand followers over time into maybe five, six clients. If you're really good at what you do and you've got an optimized brand, exactly how I've shown you on my actual profile here with all the stuff that you need. So as you can see, guys, I'm actually, you know, doing, practicing what I preach, guys. And I'm making thousands of dollars from Instagram every single month, guys. So I recommend you follow this for your social media marketing agency, your online course business, or your online coaching business, whatever it is. If you've got a service-based business, high ticket business, doesn't matter. If, you're, if your target market's on, on Instagram, which pretty much they probably will be, leverage this, guys. It's probably going to be the most powerful video you watched in 2023. So I recommend you re-watch this video back. Drop me a follow on Instagram as well and drop me a DM if you actually need any help implementing this. We do have a brand new program called Kaizen Brand.io. I changed it from Kaizen Coach to Kaizen Brand. And now what we basically do is we actually help agency owners and online coaches or service-based business owners anybody that sells some sort of like high ticket service. And what we do is we help you scale to 25K per month via your own personal branding, via Kaizen brand. Anyway, guys, if you want more information about that, just drop me a DM on Instagram. And um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe. Peace.